you can go for the organic product you can go for the inorganic product what is important is the nutritive value of the product that you use It's called pre-germination activity. And uh, my pre-germination activity is very special activity. Uh, other farmers usually plant with fertilizer. Uh, but in my case now, I do my things differently. And now I'm applying fertilizer after germination. This is the eighth day after germination, after achieving my germination. That way now I'm coming to apply the fertilizer and it's as simple as this. No rocket science, uh, nothing hard, just as simple as this. I know uh, you're surprised by how I'm applying it and uh, how what I'm using to measure the amount of fertilizer that I'm, I'm applying. At the moment I'm applying 10 grams per, per plant. If I'm a farmer, those who are not farmers may, may be surprised by how I'm doing the things. We are used to, we know when we hold the fertilizers that way, uh, that we get the, the, exactly the amount uh, that we need. It may be excess with some grams or less, but approximately it's 10 grams per plant. So, once your maize have germinated, we rush with one fertilizer and that is phosphorus based fertilizer that is a what i'm applying that's and that is the mechanism that i'm applying the down placement and covering them just like the way i was doing uh doing planting and the phosphorus fertilizer comes in different brands there is a dap there is a breaded npk there is npk 2323 there is npk triple 17 um, so many so depending by your location that where you are going to get uh, the brand of your choice the brand that you can afford the brand that is near you but what you should make sure you are dealing with is a phosphorus rich fertilizer it's supposed to be phosphorus of course it's phosphorus plus nitrogen nitrogen is pleasant and uh, others have some potassium like the, the one that I'm doing as uh, is NPK uh, with a strong phosphorus, nitrogen and potassium. It has a uh, uh, magnesium in it. It has zinc in it. It has it has so many trace elements. It's a breaded fertilizer, one of the best uh, for maize and for growth at this point. Why do you need a phosphorus based fertilizer after you are seed, you are uh, maize has germinated or after uh, the seedlings have germinated? You need phosphorus based fertilizer because this young seed is so much in need of making a very good root network need to be a uh, very um, vibrant so it need to make a lot of uh, roots so what is only phosphorus is responsible for that we need a strong stem we need uh, some a lot of leaves we need a healthy plant and phosphorus potassium and other uh, phosphorus nitrogen potassium and other uh, trace elements like the ones that I'm using, zinc, magnesium, uh, usually helps the plant to grow to the required size, to the required nature, and to a very healthy nature. Remember how you feed it at this point will guarantee you the quality of product and will guarantee you uh, the, the quantities that you need in this. Also the speeding towards maturity. Uh, is brought in by your feeding from this point. You fail to give it enough food, you fail to give it enough uh, nutrient, the plant won't respond, respond very well. You can go for the organic product, you can go for the inorganic product. What is important is the nutritive value of the product that you use. Hope you've learned something that our first fertilizer you can do it after germination you can do it during planting and uh, it's a phosphorus based fertilizer nothing more 
nothing less and from there we go and do our next activity which will be in our next training hope this is not your last training that you're watching if it's your first time don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel so that we can continue learning together bye